Three men convicted of home invasion will likely never walk outside of prison again. Good evening, I'm Anne Marie Tiernan. And I'm John Stair. The people they victimized spoke in court before the judge imposed his sentence, saying that the men terrorized the family unnecessarily. Eyewitness News crime reporter Steve Jefferson was in the courtroom and he spoke with a victim about the sentence. Judge Mark Stoner is a no-nonsense judge who told the suspects in court today the way they treated the family was uncalled for. The family spoke up before sentencing, wanting the judge to know the nightmare they now live. This walk to court is one of the last for three men convicted in a violent 2013 home invasion. In court, the victim spoke up to let the judge know the terror and impact on his family. I mean, I think it was important just for the judge to see our side of the story and to see, um, you know, how it affected our lives and what it's done to us as he sat down to make the decisions. Prosecutors say in 2013, the trio forced their way into Nowak's home, beat and threatened his family, forced them to the ATM, stole their electronics and made off with the family vehicles, something the victims say no other family should ever experience. Um, it's been a long process that we've been having to deal with this. Obviously, with the severity of the crimes, uh, it's affected our life um, tremendously, but again, we're just happy to move on. Judge Mark Stoner ordered Adrian Anthony and Michael Pugh to both serve 88 years each at the Department of Corrections. Their co-defendant, Taiwan Lundy, will do 72 years. Prosecutors pushed for a sentence that would guarantee the trio would never commit the same crime again. But it went on for hours. I mean, what these two individuals, Mr. Nowak and his wife, uh, Brittany, is, is just unfathomable. Although tried and sentenced together, the judge wants the trio separated in prison, saying they are less likely to be a danger behind bars, a danger their victims no longer fear. I mean, I think it sets an example for anybody else who's thinking about doing anything like this, that there are repercussions for your actions. Even with the stiff sentences, all three plan to appeal. Reporting downtown, I'm Steve Jefferson. Back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you, Steve. Two of those men, Adrian Anthony and Michael Pugh, are already serving sentences of hundreds of years each for another violent home invasion.